So if you follow me on social media, you'll know that I'm actually a big fan of 2K's default release for Jason Tatum. The reason being is when Jason Tatum shoots, he basically inverts his shooting arm. Uh, it's a very unique looking shot and 2K did a fantastic job of capturing that unique motion. Now, when it comes to Jason Tatum's base, he primarily uses two different bases. The first is a wide leg base where he hops forward and his legs stay wide throughout the motion. more so we've seen him in games a very similar base with a similar motion where yes he's hopping forward but those legs actually come together and there's a slight sway i wouldn't call it a fade but there's a slight sway of the legs throughout the motion we have bases that are going to cover both of those motions All right, so when we take a look at Jason Tatum, the rest of his signature shot uh, for the base, guys, the wide leg base that we went with is Dylan Brooks. This is a new base this year. I really, really like it for Tatum. Now, the, to get the second base, uh, you actually have to raise his height um, to at least 6'10", uh, and we're going to go back here and find it. Um, I wanted to make sure I showed this. It's the Mo Wagner base. Uh, for those of you that use my signature shot last year, uh, this is actually base 64 uh, from last year. Uh, in the 2K MS Discord, which is listed uh, in the description, we have kind of a spreadsheet that shows like kind of all of the bases from last year and what they used to be. So um, this is a really good one. Those are the two bases I like for Tatum, guys. I know some people will probably use some other stuff, but for me, uh, these two capture exactly what I'm looking for. So. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move over to Tatum's free throw. Uh, this free throw is changed and updated from last year. Or actually, I don't even know if he had a free throw last year, but this is a really good looking free throw. I'll make sure I have an example on the screen, but I really, really like it uh, for Tatum. Now for the dribble pull up, it's uh, again, another one of these new signatures uh, that the 2K team did. This one looks really good. It's very reminiscent of a lot of the stuff that we've seen from Tatum. And you know, he's got him holding the follow through on some of the, the pull ups. I, I love them. They they look fantastic in game. Uh, as for the spin jumper, guys, uh, we're going to change this. We're going to move this to pro, um, and we'll see more of this when we get to his post game as well, guys. Uh, just Jason Tatum, very athletic. You know that. Uh, very athletic on his shots. Uh, he's got a lot of uh, athletic leg kicks and things of that nature. Uh, the pro spin jumper captures that the best, in my opinion. Uh, for the hop jumper, guys, we're not even looking at the step backs. We're not going to spend any time looking at that. The reason we go with the Jason Tatum hop jumper is because of his signature side steps. Uh, guys, 2K did a phenomenal job capturing that this year. Um, I'll make sure I have an example up on the screen. As we move to the layups and dunks, guys, I've been using this for years now. We're going to go with the James Harden layup package. The reason being Jason Tatum has a very grounded layup game. The James Harden package captures that perfectly. Perfectly. 
I have not changed Jason Tatum's dunks from last year, so all of those are going to be the same. Now, as we move to Tatum's post game, um, we're gonna go with the Luka Doncic post fade. The reason being, uh, when he fades to his left, he's gonna have a very stiff right leg to kind of shield off that defender. But when he sh uh, when he fades to his right, he's got an extremely athletic fade that has the leg kick. Luka Doncic captures that perfectly. Um, I didn't have any footage of him doing a hop shot, but we're going to go and switch this to the Kobe Bryant hop shot just to capture that same athletic uh, fade from Jason Tatum. Now, as we move to the dribble moves, guys, again, I haven't been changing these this year, probably won't be changing them this year since 2K got rid of the can animations, but the Jason Tatum signature size up looks really good. So thank you guys for checking this jump shot out. Really appreciate all the support on the channel as of late. Keep it locked to the channel uh, so that you don't miss any of our upcoming jump shot fixes. Follow me on all of my social medias, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at ShadyMikeGaming. But other than that, guys, it's your boy. I'm signing out. Peace. Threes.